everyone, it's Miss Erin with another Steam at Home video. And this week's activity is inspired by one of my very favorite storybooks, Rosie Revere, Engineer. If you haven't read the story, Rosie is a young engineer who has to learn a very important lesson that sometimes in engineering, in fact, I would say most of the times in engineering, your first try does not always be, become exactly what you want it to be. But Rosie, works to help her great great aunt Rose make a flying machine. And I won't give away if she makes that flying machine or not, but we're gonna make a flying machine of our own this week. It's pretty simple. You need a paper plate. I used one that's a little heavier, but you can use whatever you have at home. I used these thick straws. You need two of them. You can try it with a smaller straw, but I will have some of these available outside the library for you if you need the thicker straws. You need duct tape or another th very thick tape. Maybe you have some with a pattern on it. You can put that on top to decorate your hovercraft. A balloon and scissors. First, you're gonna take your paper plate and you need to put a hole in the center of your paper plate. Scissors are sharp, so make sure you get a grown up to help you with this or a responsible older person to help you. So I'm gonna poke a hole and it has to be wide enough to fit your straw through. So I just kind of made a hole like that. I'm gonna take my purple straw and it has to fit through here. Okay, now I want to make sure this can lie flat on the table. That's how far it needs to go through the other end. Take your scissors and cut your straw in half. What you can see from your straw, cut it in half. So this is about half. I'm gonna put that to the side. You might be able to use it for something else. Take your balloon, roll your balloon over the straw like so. Then you're gonna get your duct tape. This can take a little bit of time because you need to take your duct tape, and if you've ever worked with duct tape, you know it's very sticky, and you need to make sure that you cover up, not only get the balloon secured on the straw, but you need to cover up anywhere air could come through that hole you poked in there. So you need to really put a good amount of duct tape all over here. Now, like I said, if you have some fancy duct tape, you might want to decorate the whole top of the, the plate with it. Mine is a nice color, but I'm not going to put it all over. I'm just going to make sure that the hole is covered and that it's pretty secure on here. And this is not very exact, just make sure again, no air. That's what we're really going for here. All right, then you take your other straw, flip your plate over, what you see, put your other straw inside the straw on your plate. You have to do a little bit of pushing. Push it nice and snug together so that you don't have any air gaps. Blow up the balloon. Pinch it up here so that air doesn't come out. And then you're gonna pop this straw, put your plate flat, release your balloon and see what happens. Mine moved all around. It didn't lift up too much. And that's the wonderful thing about this activity. I've actually made three different ones and they've all done different things every single time. Maybe you need to change the thickness of your plate. Maybe a thinner straw works better. Maybe you need to blow it up even bigger to make it lift off of there. This is why this is such a fun activity for me and it's, like I said, inspired by my favorite character, Rosie Revere Engineer. I can't wait to see the things that you engineer. Let us know if you get yours to fly and we'll see you next week. Bye.